A typical commercial passenger airplane cruises at speeds of around 460 to 575 miles per hour. There is practically nothing that can match that speed on land. Even the world's fastest car, the 2020 SSC Chuatara Hypercar, could only reach 316.11 miles per hour. But that's all about to change with the Hyperloop, a futuristic ground transportation system envisioned by Elon Musk that is gradually becoming a reality. In theory, a Hyperloop traveling at a max speed could reach over 7 100 miles per hour, which would leave a commercial jet in the dust. The Hyperloop is a pod-based train that travels in soundless tubes and could well reach the speed of sound. It won't do so, however, largely due to safety concerns. Still, having the Hyperloop running between cities will speed up the transportation of cargo and people phenomenally. It will impact travel and transportation both financially and ecologically, as it's faster and more sustainable. But the Hyperloop may disrupt more than just travel. When did Musk first envision the Hyperloop? It was way back in 2013 that Elon Musk first coined the term Hyperloop. And uh, I have a name for it, name for it, which is called the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop? Uh, Hyperloop, yeah. Is and it like a Jetsons tunnel? What? It's something like that, yeah. Musk envisioned the Hyperloop as pressurized capsules or pods running on air bearings within the confines of a reduced pressure tube at a speed of 760 miles per hour. The proposed route would be the 350-mile stretch between San Francisco and Los Angeles, which means the journey would take just 35 minutes. That's much faster than air travel, and it would cost less and have a reduced impact on the environment too. There were several skeptics who felt it would cost billions to construct and would not be feasible for that and other reasons. Musk was undeterred and opened his idea up to anyone who wanted to develop the system. Well, develop they did, and now the Virgin Hyperloop is in development. Yes, Richard Branson's Virgin has got as far as testing the Hyperloop with humans. How does the Hyperloop work? In a nutshell, the Hyperloop is a pod running on magnetized tracks within a vacuum tube, either within a tunnel or below the ground. In a Hyperloop, capsules or pods are transported through a steel tube that is a particle vacuum. Like pucks levitating on an air hockey table, the pods will run above the tracks with each capsule floating on a 0.02 to 0.05 inch layer of air. Virgin's Hyperloop 1 is now using passive maglev technology in this way. Maglev is also the technology being used for the Japanese high-speed train line being developed between Tokyo and Osaka. The technology involves accelerating and decelerating capsules with the help of linear induction motors located along the tube. The reduction in air resistance and rolling resistance would then allow the capsule to glide at high speeds. The first human test run Virgin One was the first company to perform a full-scale Hyperloop test integrating all components of the Hyperloop system, including vacuum, propulsion, levitation, sled, control systems, tubes, and structures. The company reached another milestone in November 2020 when they conducted the first ever test run involving humans. Virgin One co-founder Josh Giegel and head of passenger experience Sara Lucian traveled in a pod on the company's test site Devloop in Nevada, where the capsule ran at a speed of 100. 72 kilometers per hour. Virgin One has also reached an agreement with the state of Maharashtra to create the first commercial Hyperloop system in the world, running between the cities of Pune and Mumbai. A flight between the two cities takes around 50 minutes to cover the distance of 120 kilometers. In contrast, the Hyperloop will take just 25 minutes. This billion-dollar project to develop a Hyperloop line in India will make India, and not the US, the first country to have Hyperloop travel. Hyperloop TT is taking Hyperloop International. Going one up on Virgin One is Hyperloop TT, or Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, the first Hyperloop company located around the world. In fact, with a fully-fledged international workforce, HTT has already been making deals to build Hyperloop tracks on routes in countries like China, the Ukraine, France, the UAE, and the state of Andhra Pradesh in India. Of course, HTT will also develop a 5-mile Hyperloop test track in the US between San Francisco and Los Angeles. HTT has also been commissioned to conduct studies to set up a Hyperloop system connecting Vienna, Austria to Bratislava, Slovakia, and Bratislava to Budapest, Hungary, at a cost of $300 million. How will Hyperloop change travel? 
The Hyperloop system is being largely seen as a faster, more convenient and cheaper means of travel. It sounds like the ultimate holy grail of transportation. It will be far less stressful than other forms of travel with autonomous systems featuring different sized cars or pods that operate on a on-demand basis. This is definitely going to disrupt conventional travel. If there is an option for customized pods, then we could even have an Uber Hyperloop pod running within a common general tunnel. With on-demand pods, customers wouldn't need to show up at a certain time like they do to catch a bus, train, or plane. Instead, people would have a more relaxed commute. The Hyperloop might even make air and train travel operating along the same routes obsolete. Hyperloop-linked cities will change why and when people travel. With a Hyperloop system in place, people will be able to work in one city and live in another, perhaps even cities that are much farther apart than in the past. They would also be able to shop in distant cities or even go on a dinner date. The Hyperloop will completely redefine borders and travel. Such a scenario could also impact cities economically, with jobs and economic benefits increasing along Hyperloop routes and connected cities. Let's not forget the huge tourism boom that would also occur with locals and tourists all vying to ride the Hyperloop a cargo hyperloop. If there is one industry that the Hyperloop has the potential to disrupt drastically in the future, it's logistics and cargo. Although Hyperloop One has tested its system with passengers, the company is focusing much of its energy on cargo transportation through the Hyperloop. HTT is also working on similar schemes because cargo transportation costs would be reduced drastically, not to mention the lower consumption of fuel would have a positive impact on the environment. A drastic change in logistics. To transport cargo today requires billions of dollars and requires going through the busiest seaports and airports. In Long Beach and Los Angeles alone, more than 13,000 trucks haul goods to warehouses and rail yards, burning up an estimated 68 million gallons of fuel. With that much fuel, you could travel to the moon and back a hundred times. According to Alan Morrison, senior research fellow at the Center for Technology and Innovation (PWC), it wouldn't be difficult to transport 40-foot containers in hyperloop pods built for the purpose and load. These could be sent hurtling at high speeds down a giant pneumatic tube at 700 miles per hour to its next destination. In fact, the tube could also be powered by solar to make it even more energy efficient and eco-friendly. While such infrastructure would cost billions, in the long run, there would be a phenomenal gain. The Hyperloop will indeed disrupt more than just travel. It will revolutionize logistics in several parts of the world and reduce our carbon footprint. What do you think? Will the Hyperloop revolutionize transportation or is it just a pipe dream? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Tech Division.